recover faster from tiredness. But also, what is very interesting is the lungs, because the heart and the brain are the only organs who are able to give and receive information. So sometimes you can get affected by reading a bad email, you can get stressed, immediately you get affected. Sometimes you see something which is relevant, somebody you love or somebody touch you, you feel immediately emotionally by the heart. It's not, they can get information and they can send information for you and say, I'm not happy. Some, take care of me, I'm not happy. Take care of me, I'm very exhausted. So you're tired, your heart can tell you. Or your brain, oh, I'm confused, I'm stressed, I'm afraid, I'm out of my game. So the brain and the heart are there to be controlled by the lungs. The lungs are the most fast, the most effective way for you to deal directly with your brain and with your heart. For example, if you hear, you just read a bad email and you stress. <laughs> If I keep that routine for three minutes, no stress can keep on because I have to control. I have to integrate motion and, phys and, and, and movement, breathing and movement together. And as I start to play on this, nothing can be like, I cannot think about Oh, the time to travel. I have to go to San Diego tomorrow. I have to give my daughter whatever it is. You have to refresh up because the way you breathe, you can really clean your mind. The way you breathe, you can lower your heart rates. For fighting, for example, I was doing, like I get an event three hours before the event, my fight. So I go to the locker room, sleep for an hour and a half, hour 40 minutes. By will, I just breathe in my relaxed breathing, I can sleep deeply. Wake up one hour before the fight, warm myself up for 45 minutes, putting my heart, my heart rates to 160, 140, to really break the sweat and make sure I'm cool. And then sit for five minutes and bring my heart rate to 65 heart, heartbeats a minute. So I was deeply raw hot, ready to go, with my heartbeat, tum tum. So I see my other opponent on the other side of the ring jumping around. He's already 85, 90. So when I engage, I engage not to, to, to make some kind of nice uh, rhythm. I try to, to improve, press the gas, and let's go for power. So we do everything we can do. So if I'm a struggle, you cannot rest. You have to keep up with me. So when I'm 80, you 110. When I'm 110, you're 150. When we're 100, when I'm 150, you already trying to. <laughs> I had a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you start to regroup and start to seeking for air, and that's time normally where mistakes happen, and I really make the, the close the deal. So breathing become a, my best friend, not only to control my emotions, to keep my 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 heart rate in the best performance, to recoup, so to be controlling panic, controlling emotions, become calm to strategize, everything coming from this capacity within to control yourself by breathing. So I felt like it was a great addition to my, my practice and makes a huge change in my life. This is something that I, I connected the dots on a few years ago.